So I'm not really a big Let's Player. I'm not good at doing a lot of commentary, so this isn't going to be a um, solid, um, a solid all the way through Let's Play. Um, I'm going to be splicing things up. Alright, so I'm here talking about the Devolver Land Expo game that came out today. It was a surprise launch um, by Devolver and um, Flying Hog Studios, the company that did uh, Shadow Warrior. Devolver had their digital expo today where they were going to announce and show a bunch of new games. Um, I talked about the PC Gamer Show and PS5 showcases already, and I wanted to talk about this one. And I initially um, thought that I was just going to do a opinion piece on the expo itself, but they ended up putting out a whole game, so I wanted to kind of talk about my um, opinions on that while playing this new um, game, so let's jump into it. Once a year, every year for years now, you, dumb fuck consumers, with more disposable income than common sense, have gathered around to listen to actual, powerful people like me tell you what to like, what to get excited about, and most importantly, what to buy. Oh wow, this is uh, really sensitive. Let's see if I can adjust that at all. No? Uh, Alright, well that's a dock against them. I can't control my sensitivity. This is a little crazy for me, but I'll make do! So the whole um, gimmick of this uh, little game is that the Devolver Conference was cancelled um, because of coronavirus, just like all of the other major conferences. E3 cancelled, um, and so we are breaking in to the Devolver Land showcase because um, we need to see our games, damn it. We need to consume. Um, yeah, gotta find our way in. Uh, oh. Oh. There we go. Chill zone. So, if you're like me, I am a big fan of Devolver Digital. They are one of my favorite publishers in the, the game right now. The convention center oh. is now closed. Please leave via the nearest exit. Anyway, if you're like me, the uh, Devolver is one of my favorite publishers. They are awesome. Um, they put out really great games and... Oh. Okay. Um, anyways, <laughs> they put out some great games, um, I'm a big fan of them, I uh, started getting into them through, like, Hotline Miami, um, yeah, games like that, um, and, uh, I, I always look forward to their E3 conference every year, it's always really funny, um, and super meta, and over the top, it's like watching an episodic B-movie. business practices today the future of video games and the future's future future what an event am i right shut your mouths you miserable piece of human garbage <laughs> holy fucking shit Fuck if i care you're gonna be one bad motherfucker 
she's straight busted. Shut up, Margaret. If we can't get her mind right for this press conference, I've got something better. Hello? This is real. This is happening. This is the future, Nina. Come with me if you want to live. I know a lot of people think it's cheesy and dumb and everything, but I really enjoy it. It makes me laugh. Um, and this year was a, no exception. Um, they got... Attendees are reminded that exhibitor merchandise is off limits. They got extra crazy um, with it, extra meta. And, uh, I mean, this is an example of just how meta it got. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Can I take one of these shirts? Oh so, uh, the games that they announced and showed that I um, am looking forward to, of course, Shadow Warrior 3 looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks like they took all of the right notes from Doom and Doom Eternal, and are, um, it just Reminder, looks the crazy good. Is now Please we, uh, we didn't see a whole lot of it. There's been a teaser and then a brief gameplay trailer. Um, but the gameplay trailer looks pretty really promising, and I am looking forward to it. Um, in addition to Shadow Warrior, uh, Serious Sam 4 looks awesome. Uh, looks like more Serious Sam, but that's a good thing. Carrion, of course, looks great. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find those games in here, um, as well as some of the others. Uh, Fall Guys, that looks fun. It's a little party game on um, PS4, I believe. Um, PlayStation exclusive looks pretty cool. There's a ape out Easter egg thing. Alright, I don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of rambling and talking. Let's see if I can uh, find some direction here. Oh yeah, this game, um, Elijah. That looks pretty cool too. Uh, kind of a 2D um, What's it called? 2D platforming game. Um, looks fun though. I'm into platformers a lot, so I'll be checking that out. Um, basically, all the games they showed are uh, they look they look good. Um, but the top three are definitely uh, Carrion, Serious Sam 4, and Shadow Warrior 3. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's focus a little bit and see what I can, uh, what I can do here. My aim is going to be absolute trash because I am not used to my mouse being this sensitive. Oh, busted. Alright, back to the beginning. Alright, let's see if we can find the security room here. There we go. Alright, South Hall, let's start this shit. Trespassing is not permitted. Deviation will be punished. Your presence has been noted. Please prepare for processing.
unannounced game. All right, so if you play through this, we can find an unannounced game. Hopefully, it's um actually like something that wasn't on the uh, conference. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Carrion. All right, so it looks like this is gonna be the Carrion area. Um, Carrion looks really freaking cool. Um, it was announced it at E3 last year. Um, it's been in production for a while, but it looks really cool. It's a reverse horror game um, where you play as the monster. You break out of a. Uh, oh, okay, that looks like it's the monster. Uh, plays the monster. You break out of this um, science facility, and you um, basically wreak havoc on the populace. It looks really cool. It's got a um, chip, um, chip tune, a 8-bit graphic style. Looks like this. It's a, uh, a definite buy for me. There he is, the monster himself. He was actually at the conference um, presenting for Carrion. Holy smokes! Phil freaking Spencer, head of Xbox! Hey there, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be co hosting this announcement. Oh man, the pleasure is all the way mine. I. Wow. I had no idea you knew about my game that I'm in. Then the. Uh conference itself was meta and insane. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, so there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, we'll see. We'll see at the end what this makes sense. Um, but yeah. I'm pretty hyped for this game. Um, I'm gonna intersplice the, tra the trailer and some bits of the uh, conference, I suppose, here. Oh, all right, here's the trailer. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, it's a reverse horror game. You play as that monster, um, break into this science facility, and you just wreak havoc on these scientists. Um, it looks fun and interesting. It looks different. Um, I don't think I've ever played a game quite like this before. Um, it looks really gory, too, and... Um, is you can just rip people apart. It's really cool. Um, something that they showed in this trailer, which I'm not sure if they showed off in another trailer, was the ability to possess scientists. Um, we'll show that in a minute. Um, and, yeah, right here. Um, and then those scientists will go and attack other guards or whatever, um, create more confusion. But, uh, yeah, this game just looks really fun, um, and I, I really like the idea of the reverse horror thing, um, and I will be getting that on July 23rd um, when that comes out, so yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep going. The Devolver console? Is this a leak? Devolver console, guys. I like it. Fuck Xbox and PlayStation, man. We're getting the Devolver console. Alright, so here we are. Back here. Weird West. I think I've heard of this game. Let's watch the trailer, though. The game is a curse of sin. There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any... This is Rafael Colantonio, creative director and president of Wolf Eye Studios, and I'm here today to tell you about our current game in development, Weird West. At its core, Weird West is an action RPG set in a fantasy reimagining of the Wild West. You play through the adventures of five heroes that have intertwined destinies on a quest to unveil one of the biggest mysteries of the Weird West. While we describe Weird West as an action RPG, some would actually refer to the game as an immersive sim. 
There are many elements that set Weird West apart from any other action RPG out there, and I would love to show you a few examples now. All right, so Weird West, uh, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, it's like a RPG, it kind of reminds me of old school Fallout, but with more um, real-time combat, um, like a stick shooter would be. Um, interesting setting, like a horror western. Um, you know, uh, heavy emphasis on decision and choices, I like it. Um, this was not shown at the press conference. Um, so there is stuff in this game that was not shown online already, which is um, cool. So hopefully we'll run into something else. My fingers are crossed for Hotline Miami 3. Uh, oh, what is this? Uh, uh, okay. uh, Alright, that's interesting. The inner sanctum. Inner sanctum? Is that where they keep Hotline Miami 3? One of these toilets better have a turd in it. Nothing. You let me down, Devolver. Picking them up. Should be looking at them, I suppose. Oh. 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 Okay. Puzzle Master Air Conditioning System. That's twenty twenty. Boom. Another game that wasn't shown uh, during the conference. Mage, my greatest power is battle a terrifying horde of monsters. Blightbound? This looks like a mobile game. Behold, Blightbound, a cooperative dungeon crawler that tasks three heroes to venture down from their mountain refuge to face the abominations of the Blight, a mysterious and corrupting fog that enshrouds the land. Each player will choose a hero from one of three classes. Warrior. Forge Titan's might! Assassin. Let me at him. Or mage. My greatest power awaits. I don't know, I'm not quite sold on that one. Looks okay. Kinda looks like a mobile game. Behold, Blightbound. Oh, a definitely not be a day one for me. Well, that's okay. 
Um, let's see what else we got here. Serious Sam, there he is. The Exploder. I'll explore the Elijah. Elijah? First, why not? Elijah is an experience we pour ourselves into. So this Will you game need Faraday? Master the Harpoon? Looked cool. Save the I was already ways. interested in it from the, the press conference. Uh, but yeah, let's take a closer look. We are Skeleton Crew Studio from Kyoto, Japan. And we invite you to take a sneak peek at the story, mechanics, and the challenges in our all new game, Olia. Olia, there you go. Not Elijah, I'm an idiot. Olia, story, as well as new combat mechanics. By yeah, this looks really fun. System, I think uh, the combat will take in down this these is going to be pretty cool. And be handsomely rewarded with new areas to explore and new mechanics to unlock. We invite you to take a sneak peek. Alright, serious Sam, this is what I, one of the ones I came here for. It's funny how much these guys look like Thank you, this. Alright. You have seen too much. You will pay for your existence. No. It was awesome. Alright, so this right here. It's it's really freaking cool. So, obviously with E3 and everything getting cancelled, a lot of these game companies are doing online conferences. Um, Devolver just completely took everything by surprise and is doing this interactive um, teaser game thing, I guess. It's really cool. I've, I've, we've already been looking at it for a little while. But, here's the thing. Imagine if company did this in like an MMO environment where you have a bunch of people exploring together getting hyped together talking together like that would be amazing the next the next big step for this kind of thing but also just seeing the, the layout of this whole conference hall the conference uh, center and all the decorations in the rooms the trailers like this is awesome, and I wish, you know, it reminds me of like a haunted house, I wish that like real cons and things were, were like this. Like imagine an interactive haunted house video game demo testing teaser thing, like it would be absolutely just fucking awesome. Um, that's what this, this, this is making me think right now. Uh, and if anyone can do it, it's, um, you know, Devolver. I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this looks really cool. If this was like real life. I would be like so hyped. I would definitely pay to go to something like this. As a big haunted house guy too. Alright, let's take a look at this serious Sam. I don't know, I think. The truth is, they don't care about who we used to be or There's the what we this. wanted to do. But if they thought this was gonna be easy, they came to the wrong fucking place. Baron of Hell. <laughs> That's too bad. Gameplay just looks so fun. There's speculation that they're gonna summon like a thousand enemies at you at once or more, and it's, that's the case. This is just gonna be frantic and awesome in the best. That looks like a cannon, like a like off of a pirate ship. Yeah, that's all I need to see. I'm sold. Definite sold. Check out the Fall Guys. Uh, Fall Guys looks pretty cool. It's like a PS4 party game. Okay, thing. Feel bad, but you know, whatever. 
the cute little guys gotta go. No witnesses, you know? Alright, you can stay. Just kidding. What about you guys? Put them up. Alright, can I kill you guys? No. You guys lucked out. Oh. Alright, let's take a look at this trailer. All guys, you play these little guys' costumes. Uh, do obstacle courses and parties. I think there's like. I'll say it in a second. 60 players. It's a battle royale party game, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this, this kind of stuff reminds me of like, um. I don't know, MXC or something. Like a MXC to video game, which is cool. I'm all about it. I like the art style a lot. They're colorful, it looks so fun. Yeah, fall guys. Probably get it on Steam. Uh, if my friends will play it with me. <laughs> This it definitely looks like something you should play with friends, but it does look a lot of fun. That, that is what I was here for. Shadow Warrior 3, baby. Shadow Warrior 3 just looks absolutely amazing. I will give, obviously, my impressions when, I, when we watch the trailer here in a second, but looks absolutely amazing. At least so far. Um, I know it's a hype trailer or whatever, but still, it looks cool as hell. Oh, what is this? Alright. I don't know what this is. This looks like a die a lot kind of game. <laughs> Revolver knows what's up. Revolver bones under that bone. Bitch. Alright, going. Alright. This this stuff right here. This is that good, good. Big Shadow Warrior fan. Since the original reboot's awesome, uh, both the te well the teaser was fun. The gameplay trailer looks really good. Um, I can't wait to see even more. Oh, uh oh, where are you going? Um, let us watch this trailer, and I will talk about it. Here we are, Flying Wild Hog, once again, doing Devolver. Well, howdy, stranger! Ah! Lang, where are you? Can you hear me? Wall jumping. Hey, cool new mechanic. I'll track you down. There he is. New enemies, new guns. Beautiful. Circus. Creative human designs. Like that looks so fun. It just looks absolutely insane. A little grappling hook. Mwah, beautiful. Glory kills. Oh, I bet that had to hurt. Stay 
frosty. This shit is just so cool. Environmental kills and interactions. Like, bringing that build engine uh, mentality back. Oh, beautiful. I'm so hyped for this game. It just looks absolutely great. Hopefully the final product continues to build on my hype, but damn, this just looks... I'm, I'm ready for some Wang. I want Wang. Wang, where are you? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wish there was, like, some demos or something. Oh, shit. So cool! I'm telling you guys, interactive haunted houses. The way of the future. Doing shit like this. Um, there ha I have to have missed some unlocks at this point. There's just uh, I feel like I've gone a while since I've seen one. Oh, oh, oh! Maybe not. <laughs> Whoa. You believe that good luck will save you, but then oh, Half-Life? Half-Life 3 confirmed by Devolver! That's the future's future feature. So what's now? The future's future. I don't know. <laughs> Check a look. 
This is the future, Nina. This is the future's future. Uh, all right. So, what do you need me for? I need you to help me stop the now, so that then doesn't happen. What? Same. I need you to help me stop the future's future future by canceling the future's fu future. It's a thing. Trust me. Whoa, what? What is that? That's not good gun. Trespassing is not permitted. Aha! I don't think I grabbed that one. Why would you describe the Oh, cool. Go to the bathroom again. There has to have been something I missed in here last time. It wouldn't just include a bathroom to like have a bathroom. Oh, that's different. Uh, how come I can stand on this one? That's kind of funny. I don't know if this is worth watching at all. What a fucking waste of time. Well, howdy, stranger! Blank! Where are you? Can you hear me? So yeah, this was Devolver Land Expo. Uh, just a quick little, um, I guess, playable teaser kind of thing. It's kind of cool. Um, Devolver, once again, just knocked it out of the park. Sony, Xbox, Nintendo, you got some work to do. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, without an E3, without conventions this year, it's been kind of weird. Like, I go to anime conventions all, every year, and not being able to go really sucked. Um, so this is kind of a cool thing. Um, props to Devolver for thinking outside the box and um, making us work for 
our teasers. It truly is, um, you know, the future's future's future of gaming press conferences. Um, if you haven't had a chance to watch the conference, I recommend it. I love Devolver's conferences, like I said earlier. Um, they're goofy, they're over the top, they're cheesy, yes, but they are hilarious to me. I think they're really funny, and like I said, they're like watching episodic B-movies, where uh, a new episode comes out once a year. Um, they're my favorite part of E3. I look forward to it every year. Um, it's, they're just so fun, and over the top, and ridiculous. If you've never seen any of them, I suggest you start from the top, because there's more. I think there's this was the fourth year of it. Um, so yeah, go check them out. It's fun. Out of all the games, um, my top three are still Serious Sam 4, uh, Carrion, and uh, of course Shadow Warrior 3, which looks awesome. It um, looks like you know Doom Eternal. So hopefully that will be my uh, shooter of 2021, which is when that comes out. Looking forward to that one quite a bit, though. Um, the three games that were unannounced um, with the hidden objects, I guess they're related to those three games that I mentioned on the walkthrough that weren't shown in Devolver's press conference. I'm a little disappointed that there's no Hotline Miami 3. Every year, um, me, I'm sure many other people, hold out hope that they're going to announce a Hotline Miami 3, and it hasn't happened. Um... I'm pretty sure that it's not in the plans at all. I don't think Denetton wants to do it, and I don't think Devolver's pressuring Denetton to do it. Which, I mean, props to them, because Hotline Miami 3 would literally print money for them. But if they don't want to do it and it's not right, then, you know, they shouldn't have to do it. Uh, but maybe someday. I don't know. Um, so yeah, sorry about this weird, like, pseudo-let's play thing. I'm not a great let's player, but wanted to talk about Devolver, wanted to show off this new game. And, um, yeah, till next time, um, next video I have planned is actually about Hotline Miami, um, so it kind of coincidence with this whole Devolver press conference thing, and hopefully I'll get that out in the next couple of weeks. It's not exactly a review, um, so I'm gonna spend some more time working on it than I would on a normal review. Uh, so yeah, ciao! The future of video games and the future's future, future!